A team of New Jersey researchers has identified a gene that makes breast cancer tumors more resistant to chemotherapy and more likely to spread. The discovery of this so-called metastasis gene could have profound implications for breast cancer patients. NJN News health and, and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler has that story. Sarah Lee, please. Yes, sir. In the back, in the lower back. Alice Gordon is one of 155,000 American women living with metastatic breast cancer. It's frightening. Um, I do wake up every morning wondering, you know, where else is it going to go? But for Alice and other breast cancer patients, there's hopeful news. A team of researchers at Princeton University and the Cancer Institute of New Jersey has discovered a metastasis gene that's turned on in 30 to 40 percent of breast cancer patients. It does look like a normal colony. Dr. Evan Kang, a molecular biologist at Princeton University, led the research on the gene now dubbed metadherin. What we want to do is develop something to inhibit the function of this gene. In other words, turn it off. The study appears in this week's journal, Cancer Cell. Oftentimes people consider the problem of metastasis and recurrent, the, the, the resistance to chemotherapy as two separate issues in breast cancer. And what we found is these two phenomena could have a common genetic link. And therefore, a common target for new therapies. Dr. Michael Rice, another study author, is the director of the Breast Cancer Research Program at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Metastases spawn new metastases, etc. And if that's the case, then drugs that interfere with this process are going to be a major new area of treatment that we are just beginning to explore. The discovery could also potentially help drug companies learn how to make certain breast cancer tumors more susceptible to chemotherapy. Eventually we run out of tools when it comes to metastasis and when it comes to recurrence. And this is so exciting because we may be able to fight this in the future. Dr. Kang says he's talking with several pharmaceutical companies about drug development, including New Jersey-based Johnson & Johnson. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Princeton.